With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with a question which says in the following diagram the value of resistance x for the potential difference between b and d is 0. So we need to calculate this uh, resistance value x. So before starting, let's first discuss uh, about Wheatstone network. This is the case of a Wheatstone network which is under the balanced condition. So uh, when the uh, when the uh, network is balanced, we can write R1 by R2 that is the ratio of two resistance and this is R3 by R4 will be the same. Alright, so this is the balanced condition and balanced condition occurs when potential of B and D is same. Alright, or we can say potential difference between B and D is zero. So now uh, same uh, we will be applying in this case because it's been given that potential difference between this two point that is BD is the same or we can say diagonally opposite end. So now uh, we can do so first uh, we will uh, here itself we will take this case so we can first calculate R1 and we will consider it to be as the uh, equivalent resistance between two. So R1 can be written as this can be seen over here these two resistance are in series so we will add them up simply so this can be written as 21 ohm alright and R3 can be calculated for uh, here we will calculate so for calculation of R3 so we will write it here for R3 15 is in series with uh, this two in parallel so for parallel we can write 6 into 6 by 6 plus 6 that is 12. So this value comes out to be 15 uh, plus 3 that is 18 ohm. So R3 we have calculated it as 18 ohm. Alright, now it's time to calculate R4. So for R4 we can write uh, for R4 again we can see 4 is in series with this two parallel that is 4 for the 16 by 8 that comes out to be 6 ohm. So the value of R4 is coming out to be 6 ohm and finally we have the R2 that is we can say for R2 we can write for R2 uh, we can write R2 uh, this can be written as 3 plus 8 into x 3 plus 8x by 8 plus x so this is what the value of R2 we are getting. Alright, so if we substitute it over here, so we can say the value of R2 is 3 plus 8x upon 8 plus x. So now we will be uh, applying this balance condition over here. So we can say under balance condition and why it is balanced as we have discussed the potential difference between B and D is 0. Under balance condition we can write R1 by R2 equals to R3 by R4. R1 by R2 will be equals to R3 by R4. So just we have to substitute the values now. So we can say R1 we have calculated it as 21. So divided by 21 dividing by 3 plus 8x divided by 8 plus x and that is equals to R3. We have calculated it as 18. So here it is 18 by 6 all right so if you solve it further we can write this can be done as 168 plus of 21 x just we are doing the cross multiplication part and here it can be done as 24 plus uh, 11 x and that is equals to 3 and solving it further we can write 168 plus 21 x and that is equals to 72 plus of 33 x therefore if you subtract this value we can write it as 96 and that is equals to uh, this can be written as 20, 11 12 x therefore the value of x comes out to be 8 ohms so this is the value of uh, resistance x we are getting and this matches with option c so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today